Hey guys, Dan here with Battlefield Curator. This is Tony with All American Firearms. Hey guys. Tony, what do we got here? Okay, it's really cool. We have a Petersoli and it's called the Wyatt Earp. It's a coach gun that would have been uh, basically the same as the Wells Fargo coach guns that were issued to, uh, to the guards who rode the coaches for Wells Fargo. This one's named the Wyatt Earp which is kind of funny because you want, you might wonder why it's not called the Doc Holiday like the Cimarron one, which is similar to this is. The fact of the matter is, is the gun belonged to neither one of them. It was really a coach gun that belonged to Wells Fargo. And Virgil, uh, who was uh, um, Wyatt Earp's brother, Virgil Earp, actually stopped by the Wells Fargo office on the way to the OK Corral and grabbed this street howitzer, is what they would have called it back then, and uh, brought it to uh, the meeting between uh, um, the, Wyatt, the, the Earp brothers and Doc Holliday. Uh, they handed it to Doc Holliday because they thought he was a little unsteady because he wasn't, he, he was very sickly from, from uh, consumption, what we know now today as tuberculosis. And so he carried this firearm not this one, but one similar to it, uh, to the OK Corral. He shot Tom McClory with one shot from one of the barrels, and then he threw the gun down, the coach gun down, and drew his Colt and started, uh, f you know, firing away at the at the at the guys with the Colt. Okay. Okay. Now, did Wyatt Earp also use the? A coach gun? He used a coach gun. It's not sure, it's not clear uh, whether he used the same gun in the instance against uh, um, Curly Bill Brocious, but he did kill Curly Bill Brocious with a coach gun, like right. this one as well. Uh, there, they, the, uh, there's a lot of conflicting information. Uh, you know, history gets a little muddy with, with time and, and facts get lost a little bit, but uh, they think it was a 10 gauge actually that they used uh, hmm. there. And there's a yeah. lot of debate of whether it was a 10 gauge or a 12 gauge yeah. and whether the 12 gauge or the 10 gauge was used at the OK Corral and also against Curly Bill. Right. Yeah. That's another one that could be a little dicey. Like, did Curly Bill actually die? You know, some, some people say that maybe Curly Bill actually escaped because they never found a body. Well, just like they say, Billy the Kid maybe lived till he was in his 70s. Right, right. So take it for what it's worth. Awesome shotgun, though. Really like shooting this. Um, here's why they used coach guns back then. And let's go over what a coach gun is or a messenger shotgun. So these shotguns you were usually a longer barrel length out the factory. What happened was they realized that cutting the barrel shorter gave you more of a spread at closer ranges, which... If you're on a stagecoach and you're defending the stagecoach with a shotgun, if your shotgun is a shorter barrel length and it gives you more spread, you have more chance of hitting the robbers that would at be attempting to rob the stagecoach. And also it's a little bit more concealable as well. So you can tuck it in your uh, trench coat or have it off to the side without a huge barrel sticking out. You also might find that it is also a little less wieldy than the longer shotgun, so you had more mobility and maneuverability with yeah. it. And of course, you know, the messenger shotguns of the time, uh, later on in the 1900s, that's when the term riding shotgun was coined. Uh, but we know uh, another thing about Wyatt Earp here, didn't he use uh, a shotgun like this on stagecoaches? Yeah, Virgil and Wyatt were both uh, sometimes uh, hired as uh, um, messenger uh, guards and would have been issued Wells Fargo shotguns to use as needed. Yep, so they're guarding the express stagecoach on its way to deliver stuff. So um, it was, it was just kind of shorthanded. And uh, around Tombstone area and those, that area down there, there was a lot of uh, stagecoach robberies. So they needed all the help they can get back then. Also, there's another thing about the uh, the the old coach guns that the was a reason why the uh, the messengers liked to have these and why uh, Wells Fargo liked to like to have these um, the uh, the the bunny ear um, outside uh, hammers. Although at the beginning that was the design, but uh, they also they were very easy to tell if they if the if the firearm was ready to go. You could both visually see it and you could also feel 
in the dark, riding on the coach, you might not necessarily know, but they could just reach down and feel that the gun was ready to go. Well, Tony, um, really cool shotgun. We got a chance to shoot this thing, and let's show you some range footage here. Not bad, actually. Not too bad? No, the recoil wasn't terrible. I mean, it wasn't har hardly, didn't even really feel it. Well, yeah, the coach gun is uh, definitely one of those uh, shotguns that is just so admirable. You see it, you know, you, you know it. It's, it's a real piece of history. Still, it's a piece of history, of course, and it's still, people still just drop jaws over it every day. Yeah, it's a, it does get a lot of attention. We've, we've actually got this one in the store for sale, and uh, it is a, it's, a, it, it's an attention getter. Um, we, we actually had a coach gun uh, not too long ago that was from the 1800s, and it was in beautiful condition. It was Damascus steel, so you couldn't shoot modern shells through it. Um, but it was, uh, it was, it was very, very, uh, it, it was neat to be able to hold a piece of history like that in your hands. You don't really know what, you know, what it was used for or what it had seen. If these things could talk, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and with this shotgun here, this is a new production, Pedersoli. It's a reproduction, so, yeah. It's a reproduction. And, uh, you know, you could shoot modern ammunition from it. Well, Tony, that's pretty much it for the video. Thanks for being our sponsor today for this video. And as always, be sure to learn history, curate history, pulverize the like button, subscribe if you haven't, make it a great day.